Welcome back. It's another riveting episode of Whining About Pest Control. I am Shell Hartzer of 360 Pest Consulting, and you know, we're coming up on spring here. Days are getting a little bit longer. Temperatures are starting to creep up there. So today, we are going to whine about fall invaders. Since many of our fall invaders originated outside the U.S., today I am drinking an Italian sparkling wine. Cheers. Oh, that is a damn good glass of wine. All right, if you're watching this shortly after we posted it, you may be thinking, what the hell? Has Shell finally lost it? Why are we talking about fall invaders in the spring? Great question, thank you for asking. It's because these fall invaders that got in last year, well, now they're coming out and being spring pests. So really the fall invaders are spring invaders or spring invaders were our fall invaders or maybe they're just invaders from outer space, doesn't matter. However you wanna look at this, it's a problem. Just the other day, I saw a brown marmorated stink bug in my house. We've got multicolored lady beetles, stink bugs, cluster flies, box elder bugs, and more that are sensing those longer days, those warmer temperatures. They're beginning to wake back up from their deep, long winter slumber. Those that got into structures in the fall are now looking for ways to get back outdoors. Customers are starting to panic. The small amount of good news that we have is that these pests are just invaders. They're not feeding on anything inside, they can't reproduce indoors, they aren't causing any damage. Of course, that doesn't matter to people that are now having to deal with these little shits. Let's whine about control. Now, most people will tell you that there's absolutely nothing you can do about fall invaders except vacuum them up. Well, I'm going to disagree. I'm going to go against that trend and tell you that there are things that can be done. When it is safe to do so, and allowed by the label, I am fully in favor of treating these with your favorite liquid residual. The key here is to treat the right areas. You can't just hose down a room because you saw two box elder bugs. Think about that behavior of fall invaders. They're trying to get out. They're going to be aggregating near windows, possibly doors. So doing that targeted pinstream treatment around the windows can knock down many of those adults that are trying to get out. Yes, you are still going to have insects inside. However, they're going to be dead insects. Make sure to set expectations with customers. The pests will be dead, and this is a good thing. They can just clean up the dead bodies. Prevent that dreaded callback by explaining exactly what's going to happen so customers aren't calling you about a bunch of corpses. Second point that may be against what most folks may say, I think this is the time to start doing outside treatments. Think about it. These openings that they got in last fall, well, they're probably still there. So the spring invaders and that first big emergence of pests can still get in. Now, again, I'm not saying do that full perimeter treatment, three foot up, three foot out. I'm talking about that targeted treatment around openings, maybe a spot treatment or three. Think about where they're getting in, target those areas. And don't forget to document all those exclusion points so that the customer can hopefully seal them up. Lastly, I think treating, again, those small targeted treatments and setting customer expectations puts you at the top of mind when pest issues come up. You may even be able to provide regular service for your happy customers that you did something for while others may have just said, hey, vacuum them up, we can't do anything. Plus, these customers may be great to reach out to in the fall for outdoor perimeter treatments so that that minimizes what individuals can get in. Remind them that they had these issues in the spring, that you helped them. So why not do something a little proactive in the fall? That's me whining about fall or spring invader pests. So have a glass, check the entry points, and you can always whine to me about your tough pest challenges. Helpful information down below. Share with your friends, share with your enemies, and hit all those social media buttons so you don't miss any of our great stuff. Until next time, cheers to the fall invaders. Thank you.